Aloha and welcome to our section on common errors for functions. So this is a relatively short chapter. Um, it's uh, really uh, commonsensical, but uh, maybe you haven't encountered some of this before. Let me uh, share a little bit here with you. Um, we've got a simple uh, example from the book Celsius to Fahrenheit. One thing that we do when we're making functions, a lot of us do this, uh, would we have a function that's going to be similar but slightly different from another function and we just can't really com uh, combine the two into one function and use like a, a very uh, a parameter to differentiate them we'll create different ones we'll just copy the first one paste it again and then change the relevant parts there so what we have going on here is celsius to fahrenheit conversion and fahrenheit to celsius so we're doing it one way then doing it the opposite so when we're doing this code um, and we've copied it, uh, there's an error in here and you may see what that error is when you look at it. So the first one we're uh, saying Celsius to Fahrenheit, we're taking in Celsius, we're doing a comp computation here, and then we're uh, doing another computation then returning Fahrenheit. <clears throat> Over here, we're taking in Fahrenheit we're doing computation and setting temperature, and then we're setting Celsius according to that. But what have we done? We have forgotten that we're trying to get uh, Fahrenheit to Celsius. So we want to return Celsius. They're returning Fahrenheit here because they've copied the code from up here and they made the relevant changes. They changed their formula. They changed you know, the Fahrenheit and Celsius words up here, but oops, they forgot to return the correct value here. So when you're going through and you're doing something like copying that, make sure that you've modified all the relevant parts. You know, if it's Celsius, Celsius and Fahrenheit, make sure you've uh, swapped the right things there, you've made the right formula, and double check to make sure that you're taking in the right parameter as well as returning the right value. So keep that in mind. Another common thing that people forget to do is to return any value at all. Sometimes you get so focused on the part about uh, in this, maybe not where you're uh, doing a copy of code, but when you're creating one that's similar, you just forget to return anything at all. And if you're returning a value that's going to be used as part of an expression or as a result or something like that, when you're returning a value and you forget to return the value, remember it's coming across as none on the other side. So if they're expecting an integer and they get none value, that's going to cause you trouble and you're not going to get the answer that you expect. So be careful that you do have a return value there and make sure that your values that you're returning uh, you know, make sense. Also make sure that you've uh, modified all the relevant parts if you're copying code over. So copying code, copying functions, something we all do. It's uh, It really shortens development time to just reuse some of the scaffolding you have for similar things. But uh, do keep in mind that you can make little tiny errors in here. And those are the ones that are harder to find too because it, often it'll still run, but it'll be just something's wrong about it. Like if you got the wrong formula or something minor like that, you may still get a number. <clears throat> you may get something that it's valid, but it's not actually accurate, you know, so uh, be careful of that. So uh, those are the common uh, errors that you'll see in uh, creating functions. So uh, I'm sure you'll be adding that list as you uh, gain experience programming, but uh, hopefully you won't. So anyways, I hope you've enjoyed the lesson. If you have any questions, as always, feel free to reach out to me and uh, send me an email. We can set up a Zoom call and we can discuss it further. See you in the next lesson.